In the comments section of a video that I made yesterday, I had a little quick to and fro with Mystic of the Sands, where I made a case that I'm not entirely sure that I actually subscribe to myself. One of those, let's posit the idea that type uh, discussions. Um, I said that it looked at in a certain way, Nazism was a form of utilitarianism because in Hitler's view of things, all that mattered was the German people, the Volk, and not the people as individuals, but the Volk in the abstract. So whatever benefited the German people was inherently desirable uh, in terms of the Nazi regime. A uh, few quotes come from Hitler to support this idea that this is what he thought. Uh, for example, when the German Fifth Army was wiped out at Stalingrad, he mentioned to it was Ewald von Kleister, one of these top German generals. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Um, had to be done to stabilize the Eastern Front. Those men don't really matter. What matters is the Volk, the German people as a whole. Only the nation matters. So they died for the good of the organism. Also, <clears throat> in the movie Untergang, which apparently was as researched as well as a historical documentary, or historical fiction, work of historical fiction could be. He's quoted as saying the same thing in the Battle of Berlin. Um, for the good of the nation, we must be cold as ice and not think about the lives of the men who are being killed to fend off the advancing Russians. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Only the nation matters. Um, sounds kind of utilitarian to me. <laughs> and his regime wasn't so much, although there was a lot of scapegoating, but there, there were actual ideas that he was going to promote the interests of the German people, i.e. making them the slave masters of Eastern Europe and the somewhat benign overlords, at least as he saw it, of Western Europe. He was uh, going to enslave and despoil the peoples of Eastern Europe or exterminate them in order to benefit the people of Germany and Western Europe. Um, sorry that you got to die, but it's for the good of everybody. That's a kind of sick type of utilitarianism, if you ask me. And I said, on the other hand, uh, the Khmer Rouge were a form of negative utilitarianism. Once we've killed off all of our class enemies, uh, things will be a lot better because they are the ones who are screwing everything up. Rather than Hitler's view of taking the goodies from other people or making sacrifices in order for things to be better, they were simply saying we have to cut the cancer out of our society and then things will be better. Um, <clears throat> I'm still not entirely convinced that these are positive or just utilitarianism and negative utilitarianism, but it's an interesting kind of way to examine these two concepts. Not much of a utilitarian, obviously. <laughs> um, but uh, it uh, lets you know, and I don't think I'm the first person to have ever made the comparison between utilitarianism and totalitarianism, it lets you know where these things can go if taken in a certain way. I won't even say taken to extremes, I'm just saying if taken to, in a certain way.